Driving through Minneapolis uh, on my way down to Faribault for a haircut from Seiko Varani. Pretty much a living legend in pool. Uh, he's a retired barber, but he still does a few haircuts a week in his uh, house. And I need one. It's been about six or seven weeks, I think, since I had one. So uh, looking forward to a nice visit, kind of interview, and uh, a haircut from the legend Seiko Varani. Well, uh, my name is Seiko Varani, uh, I'm a retired barber and uh, I think Mike came down to get a haircut from me today. And ask a few questions. I hope they're not too hard. Hey, good morning. Okay, good right, to see you. Good, good to see you. Yeah. Ready? All right. Ah. You come all the way from the cities to get a trim, huh? I did. <laughs> so this is your chair from the, uh, the old barbershop? Oh, sure. How many yeah. years do you, uh, how many years did you do it there? Here in Faribault, 30, a little over 33. I'll be. And how yeah. long ago did you retire? I retired in uh, 2000, January 2007. Excellent. So it's been a while. It'll be about six years. And you told me this you just January. Do a few haircuts. I do a week. couple of friends' haircuts during the week. Just a few friends of mine. Oh, Not you. too much. I'm very thankful you let me join the uh, short list. <laughs> Now, uh, which which gets mispronounced more, your name or your your town here? <laughs> well, Faribault, I don't, they don't mispronounce it too often. They they misspell it. Oh, okay. It's F A R I. Everybody says fair. F A I R. Oh, there you go. So everybody, including people from Faribault, sometimes misspell it. Good. But my name, yeah, the last name I get butchered up once in a while, but not too bad. Where were, uh, where were you born then? I was born up on the Iron Range. All right. 60 miles north of Duluth, a town called Eveleth. Oh, I've been there. The hey. hockey capital of the United States. That's yeah. the uh, U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame is there. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Should I turn this radio down a little bit? Oh, yeah. What, uh, what station were we enjoying there? This is the local station, KDHL, Faribault. Play a lot of polka. Yeah, they play a lot of polka and some western. They got two stations, FM, AM. Which one are we listening to? Uh, this is AM. All right. Good. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I gotta ask Absolutely. a little bit about your pool game. Uh -huh. When did you start playing pool? Well, first of all, my dad. I don't know where I got it, I can't even remember. He came home where I wanted him to buy me a, it's a little small pool table with marble-sized balls. Oh, yeah. And you'd have to put it on a card table. Two sticks were about 10, 12 inches long. Maybe longer, a little longer, <laughs> maybe. And that's where I started at home, banging them things around. Uh, how old do you think you were then? Oh, I was probably around 9 or 10. And then I graduated. To, my dad worked for the Oliver Iron Mining Company, U.S. Steel, and they had a they had a clubhouse called the Oliver Club. Beautiful place. They had a three-lane bowling alley, pool table, card room for the guys. They must have had a dozen easy chairs, magazine racks, showers. Very nice place. Mm. So I went down there one time and 
I still remember the manager's name was Anderson and uh, asked him if, if I could set pins and that's the way I started. I started setting pins down there. Of course those days they never had any, no automatic pin setters. Had a three lane bowling alley and that's where I started and then when there wasn't any business, it wasn't too busy, they had about I think if I remember right, about five or six pool tables. And he used to let me play pool when it wasn't busy. And then kind of came to me pretty quick. I kind of enjoyed it. And, and then I graduated from there to the local pool room uptown <laughs> when I was about uh, 12 or 13, I guess. I started going into the pool room. And I got to know the owner real good. His name was Johnny Carcass. Come from a hockey family, played a lot of hockey back there. And I got to know him real good. And so I, that, was, that became my home for about five years till I joined the Navy. Oh. <laughs> when I was 17. Oh, dear. And after that, I joined in the Navy, of course, I never, never played pool much. You don't have any pool tables aboard ship. Yeah. Is that <laughs> when you started cutting hair? No, no, I never cut hair in the Navy. I, I did that after I got out. Hmm. I, went, I, was, I went to Los Angeles. I was out in California for 10 years. Oh. And that's where I went to barber college out there. Then I came back to Minnesota and 10 years later and started living back here. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. So is, uh, did you get serious about pool then in, in Los Angeles or when you're back in Minneapolis, Minnesota? No, no, I played very little out in California. I got serious back here one day we were, I was over in Hastings. Just happened to have some friends that lived over there. My wife knew some friends that lived over there. So we went over there and I'll, me and the guy, the owner of the house, uh, we went downtown and had a beer. It just happened to be at Lesher's Bar in Hastings. And there was a lot of pool, pool in those days going on there. Yeah. I said, wow, this is pretty good. So I found out when the next tournament, there was a tournament going on at that time. So I found out when the next tournament was and made an appointment to go over there and play. There and across the river over to Prescott, Wisconsin. Ah. Uh, Joe's Valley over there, and can't remember this little past Prescott. Me and Bill Ellis, the local pool owner here in town, used to go over there and play doubles and stuff like that. We had a good time. We won quite a bit too. Yeah, <laughs> had a good time. 